Let's see about investigations useful for maxillary fractures. Plain films of the facial skeleton can be helpful in diagnosis, but a CT scan will invariably be ordered if there is any significant mid-face fracture. Regarding radiographic views, PA view with cephalad angulation, a Caldwell view that is PA view, a lateral view and occasionally a submental vertex view can be useful. Water's projection will give a detailed evaluation of the facial sinuses. Then computer tomography scan of the face provides a vivid evaluation of the facial pathology than the conventional radiography. Axial or either direct depending on the patient's condition or reconstructed coronal images can be used. 3D reconstruction of the CT scan aids in diagnosis and treatment planning. For fracture repair, principles include reduction, fixation, immobilization and early return of function. Regarding reduction, it can be open or closed reduction. Closed reduction refers to the reduction of the fracture segments to their previous anatomic and functional position by manipulation without direct visualization of the fracture. Devices for closed reduction include Rovi's disimpaction forceps for fractured maxilla. Mid palatal split maxilla can be reduced by Hayton William forceps. Then Walsham's forceps can be used to manipulate certain nasal fractures. Ashes forceps for septal fracture reduction. Open reduction is reducing the fracture segments by visualizing the fragments through surgical approaches. Moving on to the next principle, fixation of fractures. Methods of maxillary fracture fixation can be internal fixation or external fixation. External is less frequently used method of treatment. So in detail about internal fixation, we have two main methods, direct osteosynthesis and suspension wires. Direct osteosynthesis is the preferred method of treatment which includes mini plates and screws and transosseous wiring. Regarding suspension wires, it is ancillary method of treatment includes frontal central or laterally placed wires circumzygomatic wires infraorbital pyriform aperture or per alveolar wires then regarding external fixation we have craniomandibular and craniomaxillary approaches craniomandibular includes halo frame box frame plaster of paris methods whereas for craniomaxillary we have pin fixation halo frame and plaster of paris methods